Hi everyone, I'm Hao Tian from UC Davis. Today, Rafa and I are going to present our work, Yolat Edge Real-Time Instance Annotation on the Edge. This work is done jointly by me, Hao Tian, Rafael, Fanyi, and Yang Jie. Instance segmentation is a challenging problem that requires correct detection and segmentation of each object instance in an image. Having a fast and accurate instance segmenter would have many useful applications in downstream tasks such as robotics, autonomous vehicles, security, and others. However, many of these applications run on edge devices. Therefore, in this work we explore how one may achieve real-time speeds on the edge while maintaining competitive performance. Instance segmentation task is hard and requires lots of computation. To have a solid and efficient starting point, we choose to build our pipeline based on the state-of-the-art real-time instance segmentation method YOLACT, as it is simple, fast, and accurate. It proposes a simple architecture that performs classification, localization, and segmentation in one shot. To accomplish this, after the feature backbone, it performs two subtasks in parallel. In one of the branch, it generates a set of prototype masks. And in the other branch, it performs detection and predicts class labels, box parameters, and mask coefficients for each instances. It then linearly combines the generated prototypes with its mask coefficients to predict raw masks. And after the cropping and thresholding, we're able to obtain high quality masks for each object instances. Our first contribution was the use of NVIDIA's TensorRT optimization and runtime engine. TensorRT provides many features, including mixed precision support, layer and tensor fusion, multi stream execution, and others. In particular, TensorRT's support of mixed precision optimization is important because it greatly reduces the application latency, which is a requirement for many real time services. In this work, we explore the effect that different applications of mixed precision have on the final speed accuracy trade off of YOLACT. A major component of effectively speeding up models using TensorRT is the quantization of network weights to FP16 or INT8. Because FP16 has a wider range of values compared to INT8, it generally yields better results at the cost of extra computational time. Given that the weights of different components of YOLACT have different ranges, the speed accuracy trade-off also varies from component to component. Therefore, we converted each model component to TensorRT independently and explored the optimal mix between INT8 and FP16 weights that maximizes the FPS while preserving the accuracy. The first row in the table on the left shows the MAP and FPS for a model that doesn't use TensorRT. Afterwards, each row shows a different combination of mixed precision across each component. One of the notable effects is that converting the prediction module to int 8 always results in a loss of MAP. We hypothesize that this is because there aren't enough values to encode the box and mass predictions accurately when using int 8. On the right-hand side, we explored the effects that the size of the calibration dataset has on the end date conversion. We note that calibration is necessary for accuracy and that there is a slight improvement in FPS when using a bigger calibration dataset. Our second contribution is exploiting temporal redundancy. We take a video clip from YouTube's dataset, and we, as we can see, when we zoom out, the scene does not vary too much across the different frames. We can see that the snows, the trees, they all look quite similar. Then a fairly straightforward idea is that we can transform features from previous frames to the current frame to save some computation. While we zoom in, we will find that the person is actually stretching out with different poses across different frames. This suggests that due to the imprecise transformation or some transformation errors, simply transforming features from other frames might not give us enough precise feature for predicting high quality masks. So how are we going to save the computations? Here is a computational cost breakdown for different stages of the ResNet 101 backbone and YOLACT. We can see that in ResNet 101 backbone, C4 stage uses more than 65% of the computation powers. And in YOLACT, it spends more than half of the time in the backbone stage. Therefore, saving time in computation of the C4 stage will help boost the speed of YOLACT greatly. And despite the need of the real-time speed, we're still able to afford the computation from C1 up to C3 stage. Here is the architecture figure for YOLAC Edge. We're dividing the video frames to keyframes and non-keyframes. We are going to pick the first of every five frames as the keyframes. Recall that in YOLAC, there are four stages. Feature backbone including the feature pyramid. 
ProtoNet that generates the prototypes. Prediction has that perform detections and some post-processing steps to generate the final masks. So for keyframe and non-keyframes, the model behavior only differ in the backbone stage. On the left are the keyframes, where we're going to perform all of the computation that is required as in YOLACT. On the right are the non-keyframes. We're going to compute the blue blocks in the ResNet backbone from C1 up to C3 stage. We're not going to compute any of the C4 and C5 because they are the most computationally heavy. In the FPN, C4 and C5 features are required to obtain P4 and P5 features. Since we're not computing them in non-keyframes, we're going to transform the P4 and P5 features from the previous computed keyframes with the estimated flow maps. After that, we will compute the rest layers in the same way as the, they are in the keyframes and use the transformed features for our detection and segmentation. Here, in contrast to previous work, we can preserve high-resolution details for generating the mask prototypes as the high-resolution C3 features are computed instead of transformed and thus they are immune to various errors in flow estimation. So in summary, our partial feature transform design produces higher quality feature maps that are required for instant segmentation, while it also enables us the ability to reach the real-time speed. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the results. We first compare Yola Edge to state-of-the-art real-time methods on YouTube Viz dataset using the RTX 2080 Ti GPU. Yolact with the ResNet 101 backbone produces the highest box detection and instant segmentation accuracy over all competing methods. Our approach Yolact Edge offers competitive accuracy to Yolact while running at a much faster speed. Even without the Tensor RT optimization, it still achieves over 60 FPS for both ResNet 50 and ResNet 101 backbones. It demonstrates the contribution of our partial feature transform design, which allows the model to skip a large amount of the redundant computation in the videos. Here is a live webcam demo on NVIDIA Jetson Xavier AGX. Even on such a device, Yolact Edge is able to perform instant segmentation tasks in real time. Here are two qualitative results on YouTube videos. Despite the competitiveness of our approach in terms of speed, it still falls behind the OLAT in terms of MAP. We believe that there are two reasons for this. The first is motion blur. In particular, in the feature warping procedure, it is not guaranteed that the randomly selected keyframes are free from motion blur, and therefore the features of non-keyframes may be affected. A smarter way of selecting keyframes would be an interesting research direction. Another limitation is the mixed precision conversion, where we observe that even with the optimal choice of FP16 and int8 weights, with correct calibration, we still have a fall of MAP. An interesting future direction would be to explore training with mixed precision already mixed in. In conclusion, we have enhanced the OLACT via two contributions. Firstly, by applying TensorRT optimization while balancing the speed and accuracy of the model. 
and secondly by introducing a novel feature warping module that exploits the temporal redundancy in videos. In summary, we observed that our proposed method, Yolak Edge, achieves a 3 to 5 times speed up over existing real-time instance segmentation algorithms. Notably, with a ResNet 101 backbone, it is able to run on an NVIDIA AGX Xavier at 30.8 FPS and on an RTX 2080 Ti at 172.7 FPS. Thank you for all of your attention, and scan the QR code on the bottom right to see our models and source code.